Hey guys, it's my birthday, so I'm just gonna jam today. I might raise it higher. Hey Autumn, hey Sherlanda, hey Tammy. Hey, hey. I'm proud of you. Y'all, I'm having a party because it's my birthday. It's my birthday, guys. I am 31 today. And I just want to listen to this song just a little bit longer because my girl Rose just dropped it yesterday, a day before my birthday. It's called Booked and Busy, and it's super fire. Y'all listen to it. To, to glow up, I had to grow up. That's what she says in her song. To glow up, I had to grow up. And I just feel like she wrote that song for me. <laughs> it's both of our stories. And it's probably every woman's story. Um, just an amazing story of choosing to get it with God and how he just makes you booked and busy because you're super blessed and he opens up so many doors. Guys, I just want to thank you all so very much for joining me today on live. It's my birthday and I could not think of a better way to spend my birthday than to be here with you all. So I just want to say thank you. Hey, Kay. Hey, Leslie. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. I really appreciate that. Hey, Carmel. Hey, Bruce. Hey, John. How are you doing? Hey, oh, I said hey to Tammy. I just want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all so very much. And I'm so thankful, thankful to just be here and um, to be alive and to be well and to be blessed. Like God has just been good. He's been so good. So last week on Friday, I forgot to say the prayer. I went so in on Friday last week. And what were we talking about? I don't know having a scripture possibly we talked about faith and how to increase our faith with the words that we say and i went in to a place that i did not plan to go and forgot to say the prayer and i felt so bad i thought about getting on live again like maybe i'll get back on and just say the prayer and that didn't happen but i just want to apologize to you all and um we're actually going to start the prayer right now because i don't i want to make sure i don't want to ever get on live on monday and friday ever again and forget to say the prayer. That's really important. So um, we're going to say a prayer. We'll say a prayer together. And then from there, we'll continue. All right. So um, Father God, I just thank you, Lord. God, I thank you so very much for just the opportunity, Lord God, to be alive. <laughs> God, I am alive. I know there are many women, many men, uh, many people that don't even make it to the age of 31. And I just thank you so very much for the gift of life. Lord God, I am so blessed. I am so thankful to be here and to be able to share this space today, this time, Lord God, with so many people around the world, Lord God. I thank you so very much for every individual that listens to this live today, Lord God. I pray that they will be encouraged, that they will be inspired, that they will be just motivated to believe you for more, to believe you for a new life, Lord God, to believe you for love, to believe you for hope, to believe you for strength, Lord God. And you just become all of those things to them, Lord God. So I just thank you so very much for this day, Lord God. I thank you that all of your children will feel loved by you, Lord God. And if they don't feel it at this very moment, Lord God, that they will feel it by the end of today, Lord God. I am believing that every single one of your children will connect with you like they've never connected with you before, Lord God, and have a new uh, a new hope and in this new life of abundance, Lord God. You are so amazing, Lord God. You are so gracious, Lord God. And it's just my hope um, that we just continue to just serve you and shine our light within this dark world, Lord God. Please keep us encouraged, keep us strong, Lord God. Keep us hopeful and keep us dreaming, 
for um, a greater dream, Lord God, than the life that we currently have, Lord God. I thank you for all the hope. I thank you for the plan. I thank you for the purpose. Lord God, I thank you that your will is being done in each and every individual's life. Lord God, you're so faithful, Lord God, and I praise you for the abundance of all good things, Lord God. You are prospering us in so many ways, each and every person, Lord God, regardless of what's going wrong in their life, Lord God, you are prospering us. And I'm just so thankful, Father God, to be your daughter, Lord God, to be your servant, to be your chosen vessel, Father God, to do the work that I do. Lord God, and I pray that each and every one of your children will realize a call on their life, Lord God, and pursue that call and that purpose like never before, Lord God, so that they can live in ultimate victory here in this life and the life after, Lord God. You are so amazing and we are so blessed and I thank you for it all. Please forgive us for all of our sins, Father God, and may your will be done and nothing less. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, guys, it's my birthday and I'm so happy to be here. Like, <sighs> I had a moment today, you all, where I just took um, just some time to really think about where I've been and everything that God has brought me through. And I just, I, I have probably said I am thankful and I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed probably like 366 times. And it's what? about 12 30 in the afternoon i have not stopped singing god's presence uh god's praises i just i feel so loved guys and i just want y'all to know this because i know that god's love is not just for me it's for everyone and i i, I feel so loved i feel so encouraged i feel really courageous y'all i've never been more confident in my entire life and i'm thankful because i know that my story the way my story was set up i was not supposed to be this girl i was never supposed to make it this far uh the enemy tried to destroy me when i was a kid and then he distracted tried to destroy me when I was a teen and then he tried to d destroy me in my early 20s and then my later 20s there's just been so many massive attacks on my life that I really should be depressed I really should be sad I really should be just somewhere you know with no confidence not walking in my purpose hating my life but I'm not I'm not. I've never been more free. I've never been more free to be this girl, to share my truth, to shine my light, and to walk in my purpose like now. And I just I just thank God because I could have had a different story. I could be very broken right now. I could be very insecure because I was all of those things. I was all of those things, and I'm not. And I just praise God for that. So I just want to say thank you guys so very much for just walking this this journey with me and just joining me all March Madness like it was it was all for today it's just my hope that this past month you guys have really just taken the time to just love God and fall madly in love with God and allow that love for God to just transform your entire lives because he loves you so very much I know the only reason I have the peace that I have the only reason that I have the joy the only reason that I have just the um the comfort and the courage and the confidence is because of God not because I'm special, but it's because God sent his son to die for me, you know? And with that, it just it just gives me just so much power to just push past everything that the enemy has tried to keep me in. And it's my hope that you guys will just allow God's love to just completely transform your lives as well. So I'm happy, guys. I'm so happy. I, I, could, not, I, have, I could not have written my story better than what it is now. I'm 31. I'm a wife. I'm a mother of six. My marriage is blossoming into something so beautiful. I feel like Manny's the greatest gift that God ever gave me. Next to Jesus, it's Manny. Um, my relationship with my children, our homeschool environment, my peace of mind while still having mess because life is just messy and life is hard. I just have so much peace and I just feel so fulfilled in this life. And to be honest, I told the Lord today, and this might sound very strange. I said, God, if I die today, like if I, for whatever reason, just fall dead right here today, I am so thankful for the life that I lived and I'm so thankful for me fighting for my freedom and fighting for my healing from all of the things that hurt me. Like I did it. I can go home and be very satisfied. I can go to heaven and be like, God, I did it. I did it. I did not die broken. I did not die in my former abuse. I did not die in my lack of self-confidence. I did not die in... Um, just any of the mindsets and the spaces that I was once in, I was a very broken girl. And I could say if I died today, I will have died whole and healed. And I would have died helping a lot of people and encouraging a lot of people. And that's just what I was called to do. So I, I just, I feel like I've lived a life well. And I'm thankful for that. 
So I have an announcement, guys, and I'm so super duper excited about this. Um, if you've been following me on my Instagram stories, and I appreciate you guys who do follow me on my Instagram stories. I post in my Instagram stories more than ever. I post on Facebook every once in a while. Um, social media wise, I post on my Instagram stories a lot, a lot more than Snapchat, a lot more than anywhere I post on my Instagram stories. So if you guys are aware for anybody who has been following me, I've been working really, really hard. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a business. I've had a business for several years. Let me tell you that. I've had a business since 2015 that I was not equipped enough to bring forth to light in 2015. It wasn't until I met my husband and he decided to believe in who God was calling me to be and continue to encourage me to be that person that I'm now her today. And I praise God for her because she was, she wasn't coming out. I was not going to be the woman I am today. I had like a plan. I was like, when I'm 40, I'm going to get my life together. I'm gonna pursue all my dreams. When I turn 40 is when I'm going to take those 10 years between 40 and 50 and live my life. But God said, no, I need you to do it sooner. So I'm really excited. Um, what I share with you guys on Instagram and Facebook, please don't be mad at me. Y'all, um, Instagram has just always been my baby. It was a social media app that I loved and I still love it. But <laughs> what God has um, placed inside of me was this desire last year, this desire to really help women get to freedom. Um, like myself and so many women, a lot of us are just so broken. Whether it's things that happen to us as children, in our teens, early 20s, there's just, in a lot of ways, a lot of women are broken. And the media and churches and schools, they really don't do a lot of, I'm not going to say they don't do a good job, but there is a greater job that needs to be done. Something that, um, there's something missing. There's too many girls broken. There's too many teenagers broken. There's too many young baby girls broken. There's too many women broken. There's too many grandmothers broken. There's just so many women that are broken. So many women that have these beefs and so many women that are just angry about their lives. So many women that don't uh, like the, their physical bodies. Um, so many women that don't like their careers. There's just so many women that just aren't happy, 100%. And um, I'm not here to point any fingers because I was also that girl. I was also the girl. I was the girl who was able to post on social media with a smile on my face, knowing that I was insecure about some things. I was also the girl who was posting those same pictures that probably had 100 pictures that I did not like. And I thought I was so ugly and I looked so disgusting that I could not post. You know, I was that girl. I was that girl who spent a lot of time on social media comparing my life to other women's lives. Like, oh, you know, she has this or her husband does that for her or... You know, I just, I was not comfortable in the skin that Marlia was in. And the crazy thing is I wasn't even in a bad space in life. You know, I was making good money, had saved up a lot of money, had started a business, real estate, you know, like I was, I was living my life, being in movies and everything, but those outward things didn't showcase what was going on in the inside. I still was very uncomfortable. Like um, my friends and family will know that at one time I was uncomfortable with my after children body. I was super like, before I had kids, y'all, I was... <laughs> like I was cute. I was so cute before I had kids. And then I had children and my body was like, just going to do whatever it wanted to do. And I'm being very transparent with you guys. Uh, things just change. I don't feel like I did when I was 20. I don't feel that way. Well, I didn't feel that way. Now I think I'm pretty hot. Um, and my husband thinks I am too. So Anyways, um, but there was just a time in my life where I just was not comfortable, regardless of the cute posts that I put on um, Instagram and Facebook, regardless of how I could pray you to heaven and back again, regardless of how I was able to dance or act or, you know, uh, just do all the things that I've done. I was still very insecure. I was very insecure. I was insecure. I was intimidated. Um, I felt threatened in certain situations by women. Um, just a lot, like a lot, a whole lot, a lot. And I'll be very transparent with you guys. I used to even like look at my husband's ex-wife and compare myself to her in the beginning of our marriage. Like she has this and she has this career and she has this car and she has all these things. You know, it was like, I was just really at a broken place, guys. And through the year of 2017 and 2018, really, God, God said, Marlia, I cannot allow you to live at this level anymore. I cannot allow you to have so much outward success, yet there's still these little pieces of you that aren't completely whole and secure and fixed. Like, Marlia, I want you to own all of your story. 
I want you to own everything that, and I owned everything that happened like a long time ago. Like I owned all that, but there was just things, like I said, like my body that I could not own, my after kid's body for whatever reason. I was not satisfied in the beginning of my marriage when I was at home and I wasn't making any money. Like I want to work. I know that I was created to, you know, generate wealth and all these things. So, um, I just feel like there was just never a teaching in school. There was never a teaching in, um, in college or in elementary school or in the church. There was just never a teaching that really taught us women how to be confident and how to love ourselves and how to forgive ourselves because I made a lot of bad decisions, guys. If you ever hear my full story, which I want to share with y'all later, um, my testimony is really dark and it's very hard when you, have a, when you weren't the perfect girl. I'm the girl with the ugly testimony. I'll always be here. I'm your favorite accountability coach, but I'll always be the girl with the ugly testimony that God just chose to love. And um, and in that, I've just, I've just come out of this space, and I now know how to forgive myself. I know how to forgive myself. I know how to forgive the people that hurt me badly. I know how to be able to look at a woman and see her out there getting it and say, sis, I'm proud of you. I'm also able to look at that very same woman and see that she's still hurting and broken. You know, and it's just such a beautiful place to be in. Like, God, if nothing changes, if everything gets worse, if everything gets better, I'm so happy with my life. I'm not ashamed. I don't have to, you know, I, I don't have to put on anymore. I can be who I am. I could say I'm having a bad day and it's okay. I could say that I'm loving my life and it's okay. And I'm just so thankful to finally be at a place where I'm no longer here to please people. I pleased people for over 25 years of my life. I made everybody happy. And now I'm making Marlia happy and I'm making God happy and my man is super proud. And I'm just, I just feel so loved. I feel loved. And I know that the reason that I feel loved is because I've chose to love myself freely. I chose to say, Marlia, 120% of my love for you is going to go into you getting this healing. 120% of my love for you is going to fight for you to love that girl in the mirror. 120% of me is going to work your body out so hard so that when you take off your clothes, you are very proud and your husband wants it all. 120%. I had to fight for Marlia. And now I'm 31 saying, job well done. But in this space, guys, of loving myself freely, I realized that I'm not the only person. I, I didn't learn to love myself freely and to love my life and to be okay with things and to fight for change and to actually change things and create this life. I, I didn't learn it just for me, guys. I didn't learn it just for me. I learned all of this so that I can share this with you all because I know that a lot of women, a lot of mothers, a lot of sisters, a lot of daughters, a lot of friends, a lot of aunties, we're all hurting. We've all been hurt a lot, a lot. And you know that you're hurt when you're still holding on to things that happen. You're still feeling some kind of way about her. You're still talking about him. You're hurting. And that's not where God desires you to be. That's not who God desires you to be. God desires you to be so whole and so healed and 100% confident with your story, with your job, with your success, how you look without your clothes on, how you look with no makeup on, when your hair is in its natural state. God is here for all of that and he wants you to love all of that. All right. So as he's still dealing with me and still showing me more of this story and more of this purpose, he has now put me on this mission. I guess I've been on this mission since last year to help more women love themselves freely. All right. So, guys, in this process of me doing my best to serve y'all, I have created an online academy. And it's basically for every single woman that wants to love her life more. I've spent a very long time creating classes and lesson plans and all sorts of stuff to take each and every woman through the exact same process that I went through to get to my healing and to this level of life and this level of love and this level of loving myself freely. And um, the name of my academy, my online school is the Loving Me Freely Academy. And I am so, so very excited to introduce it to the world. You all, this has been my baby 
baby and I didn't know that I was going to give birth to this baby. When the Lord told me to write a book called Loving Me Single and Free and to share with women um, how I began to love myself, it went from that to I want to start teaching a school. I want to have a school in Cleveland, Ohio, and I want to be able to really help women. And really, it was for women and men originally. But the Lord is saying, no, your women, your, your women need you, Marlia. So many of your women are broken. So many women that look like you that have been through similar experiences, um, they need they need to hear more about how to love themselves, to love themselves freely. I want my girls to be free. I want my girls to be free. And I'm just so, 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 so excited to just share my online school with you guys. Like I am now the owner and operator of a freaking academy. Like it's just the a most amazing thing. I'm not only running my accountability coaching program, um, accountability coaching program, you know, creating prayer kids and doing homeschool and being a wife, but I now have an online school. And I'm just like, this is amazing. Who would have ever thought that I would ever have an online school? And it's my hope that every single woman that enrolls in my school will walk out of there so free, so whole, being able to love herself, to love her story, to own all of it, and to not be ashamed, to not feel the need to compete, to not feel the need to compare, to not feel the need to criticize any other woman, but to really just love herself and the freedom that God has in loving herself. So I just... I'm, I'm so thankful, guys, for this academy. I'm so excited to just uh, release it and just launch it and allow the world to experience the behind the scenes of what Marlia has fought to become and the different things. Um, inside of my academy, I have what's called the self-love crash course, and that's the one that is actually releasing today. I have more courses within the school that will be releasing as the time goes on, but the one that I'm actually releasing on my birthday today is the self-love crash course, where I take each and every woman through the process of what self-love is. Um, I define it, and then I make it very practical, and I break down the areas of your life for you to consider, am I really loving? myself freely? Am I loving myself freely in this relationship with this man? Am I really loving myself freely in this relation, in these relationships with these women? Am I really loving myself freely as a mother and as a wife and as a girlfriend or as a single woman? There's just a lot of areas in our lives that um, don't really resemble self-love, that don't really resemble the love that we should have for ourselves. A lot of women don't love themselves, and you can you can see it. When a woman's settling on her job, when a woman's settling in her relationship, when a woman is settling, settling with her physical appearance, when a woman has wounds in the inside that she does not speak about, that she has thoughts in her head that she can't turn off, when a woman is angry and bitter about stuff, when she's holding on to unforgiveness for herself and others, she's not fully at the place of love and healing that the Lord desires her to be at. And I just want you guys to be there because I've been bitter. I've been angry. I've been sad. I've been, I've been a lot of, a lot of things that weren't God, that were just attacks from the enemy, things that, things that were going to try their best to have me bound. But I'm now at this place where I love myself freely and my life is just a resemblance of it. All right. So there's just my hope that every single woman will be courageous enough to say, I need to love myself freely. I need to be able to be 100% confident in who I am and who I've become and where it is I'm going. I don't need to hesitate at the family dinners when so-and-so asks me, well, so when are you going to have kids or when are you going to get married or how's your job? What happened to you finishing school or baby, you looking a little bit round. I want all of my girls to be so confident. Because with that level of love, with that level of confidence, there's no man, there's no woman, there's no job, there's no amount of money, there's no title that will make you timid or feel inferior. You will boss up and say, you know what? I have a wonderful answer for you. This is my truth. This is who I am. And I don't care what you guys think. I don't have to put a million filters on my photo. I don't have to upload a photo and delete the photo. I don't have to spend my hours looking um, looking at so-and-so's page who don't even know that I'm staring at them. I don't have to because I love myself freely. I love my time. I love my mind. I love my body. I love my energy. It's all so important. And I'm going to do everything in my power to fight for freedom. For freedom, ladies. I want y'all to be free. I want y'all to have peace of mind with every single circumstance, no matter how hard it is, because life is hard. Life is hard. The Lord said in this world, we will have trials and tribulations. He said it, but not to worry because he's overcome all of it. 
So I'm saying that every single trial that you have, every single piece of your mind, your body, your spirit, anything that is just a little bit broken, I want to help y'all get to wholeness. For people who whose mothers dropped them, whose mothers weren't the best moms, whose moms didn't set the best examples, I got something for you. For ladies who might have had sex with way too many people, I have sex for you. For single moms who are just struggling in their singleness, I have some, something for you. For wives who have gotten caught up in the title of a wife and being a mom and have completely lost herself, I have something for you. Every single woman in this entire world, Lord, if I could touch him, Jesus, if I could touch him, let me touch him, needs to love herself more and needs to love herself freely. So I just want to welcome you all to the Loving Me Freely, free, um, Loving Me Freely, Lord, help me, Jesus, the Loving Me Freely Academy, and it is directed by me, Marlia Brian Hall. I don't know how big this is going to get. I hope to one day have physical buildings all around the world that people are teaching things that I've created, things that I've studied, things that I have learned, things that are transforming my life and the lives of like my clients and other people who I've shared this stuff with. But um. I'm now ready to just share it with the world. So I'm just, and I'm super duper excited. So I have a couple more announcements I want to share with you guys before we go. And one is, of course, the Loving Me Freely Academy. If any lady, if any lady, any man that knows a woman, um, I need you guys, before you invest in Weave, before you invest in another bundle that still has you broken, we got a lot of Weave. I got my hair done yesterday, but I'm free, so I don't care. I can invest in my hair. Um, but... Before you invest in another bundle, before you go get your nails done again, before you buy another lunch, before you buy another um, piece of clothing, I want you guys to really consider the investments that you all are making in your life and ask yourself if any of these investments are actually leading to my freedom. Just because I got my hair done and my, my $300 weave, has that actually helped me to love myself more? Yeah, I look pretty. It helps me with my Instagram pictures and my Facebook pictures. But really, does that bundle of weaves, those three bundles of weave or however, does that really give me peace of mind at night? Does that really give me joy throughout my days? Does this burger that is going to disappear or this um, smoothie, because we all out here trying to be uh, right and tight, does this smoothie really contribute to my peace of mind? Has it helped me to forgive my past? Before you go to your college or your university or your job that pays you, all this, all these things that we're investing our time and our money in, has any of it helped you to love yourself more, to love your circumstances, help you to forgive your past, help you to get rid of the bad things and the bad people that are in your life and holding you bound? If you cannot say yes to that, then I need you to say yes to my self-love crash course, all right? It'll take you seven days, guys, in one week. In one week, if you do the work, if you do the work, if you do the work, I'm not going to guarantee anything. If you do the work in seven days, how you see yourself in several days, how you allow people to treat you in seven days, um, how you feel on the inside. I can promise you, if you do the work, if you do every single thing that I teach in the course, you do all the paperwork, you do everything, no skipping, no cheating, no doing spark notes, none of that. If you do every single thing and take it seriously. Now, some people, if you're a little bit more broken, you might have to go in a little bit deeper and do things a little bit heavier and it'll, it'll explain that in there. But I can guarantee you in seven days, in one week, on our next meeting on Monday, your lives will be completely different how you view your lives, how you view your circumstances, how you love yourself will be different. Ladies, I need y'all healed. God is asking for all of his children to get healed. And y'all don't have to get y'all healing through anything I've created. Y'all don't have to. Y'all don't have to choose to love yourselves freely with me and the girls that are going to love ourselves freely, the loving me freely community. Y'all don't have to. But it's my hope that before you buy another bundle, before you get another cheeseburger, before you subscribe to iTunes and get my friend Rose's Booked and Buzzy um, download, her single that just dropped. Before you go spend some money somewhere, I want you guys to really consider, am I really investing in the love of myself? Does any of these things help me to love myself? All right? 
All right, if you guys are interested in the self-love crash course within seven days, I will get your mind and your spirit together. I want you to please just send me a direct link or and I'll post this on all my social media platforms as well. The course is super affordable. It's cheaper than a, a lunch date. It's only $27, guys, and I just wanna offer this to you. I've spent a lot of time teaching these classes, re researching, creating the videos, writing the lectures. I spent so much time just so I could be here today and just share this with you guys. And I'm just so, so, so super excited, guys. But that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. All right. So that's part one of my birthday. Part one of my birthday. If you guys want to invest in better loving yourselves and have the joy and the freedom that God has called you to, please send me, send me a message and I will send you a direct link to the self-love crash course where in seven days you can love the woman that you see in the mirror. All right. Now, number two. Number two, number two, number two, and that's today's giveaway, guys, my birthday giveaway. I'm having a party tonight. I'm having a party tonight, and I want all of my ladies, no men, I'm so sorry, I cannot share the things that I wanna share, but I'm having a party tonight for my birthday. I'm going to put on my birthday dress, I'm gonna get my makeup on, I'm gonna put on some heels, I'm gonna get really cute, y'all. And I wanna party with whoever wants to party with me tonight, all right? Whoever wants to party with me tonight, I am going to be dropping you guys some crazy knowledge, some crazy insight um, about my personal story. I realize social media, not everybody that sees these live videos really care enough for healing. So I'm going to have a party tonight and I'm going to share with you all the depths. This is a free party. Y'all just bring bring your own... Um, Bring yourselves. Just bring yourselves. Um, Y'all don't have to pay for nothing. I'm providing everything. I want you all to join me this evening in, um, online. Online. It's a party online, guys, where we are going to turn up like crazy. Y'all know I, I like to have fun. Well, y'all don't know that. Y'all probably don't know because y'all don't know a lot about me. A lot of people don't know who Marlia Brian Hall is. I, I share what I want to share, but there are parts of me that I'm going to share with the world that the Lord has um, asked me to just share with the world completely free. And it's just my hope that after tonight, y'all will really, really go and become the women that God wants you to be and just love yourself so freely. I'm going to share so much of my journey and we just going to turn up super duper hard tonight. So the two things I need for y'all, if you are interested in the self-love crash course, to send me a DM, send me a message, say, hey, Marlia, send me that link. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to love myself freely. I'm ready to be able to look in the mirror and be confident. I'm tired of comparing my life to other women. I'm tired of being hurt by what he did and what she did and what so-and-so said. I want to be confident. I don't want to have to lie about how I feel. I don't want to have to lie about how I think. I want to be, I want to love myself freely. If you guys would like to enter into the first uh, class in the Loving Me Freely Academy, please send me a message and I will send you the self-love um, crash course and to your DMs. Also guys, if y'all want to kick it with me tonight, if y'all want to turn up for my 31st birthday where Marlia is not going to be who she is on Instagram and Facebook, y'all going to see a side of Marlia that I have not shared with the world, a part of my story, a part of my life that um, we're going to go in. We're going to go in and I want y'all to be very open and transparent with me and we're going to fight for our healing tonight. If I die today, y'all, I want to make sure that I've tried my hardest to get as many women to love themselves freely, which is just unconditionally because God loves you unconditionally, because God said that you were worth dying for, because God said that I knew she was going to do this. I knew she was going to go through that. I knew so-and-so was going to do this, but I still say I love her. I love everything about her. And he just wants you to love everything about yourself, too. So um, that's it for part one of Marlia's birthday, y'all. I just hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm so super excited about just everything that God is doing. He's doing a lot of stuff in the background. And I want to share right now, but you know how that you know what they say. Don't, 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 don't say too much. Don't say too much. Just let them see it. So y'all gonna see it this this year. Marlia and Manny, God is doing something. God is just doing something. He's allowing us to help a lot of people this year. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be chosen for this life. It's not an easy life, but it's a life that gives me so much purpose and so much passion. And it just makes me happy. Y'all, I'm happy. I'm, I'm 31 and I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy. And I want to see y'all happy too. So before we go, guys, I'm going to read some of these messages and see what you all said. And then remember, please let me know if you want to hang out with me for my birthday. You got to send me a message. I'm not going to know. Men, this is not for you. But men, please invite your daughters, invite your sisters. 
I also want to ask you guys before we go, if any of y'all have any girlfriends that can benefit from some extra self-love, from some extra encouragement and some extra motivation, if you have any friends that are dealing with depression or stressing and having anxiety and all these other things, I'm touching everything. The self-love course touches everything. Tonight, I'll be talking about it all. I want you to invite all of your friends, all of your friends. Send them to me. Send them to my DM. I want to, like I said, if I die today, if I die tonight, if I don't make it, I want to leave out with a bang, a big old celebration. And I, and all these women are going to be free. All right, so I'm going to check this out. Thank you so much for the happy birthdays, guys. I really appreciate y'all. Hey, Nish, how you doing, beautiful? Hey, Anissa. Hey, Kay. Um... Autumn said, okay, Marlia, say that. I love it. Glory to the most high. He's so amazing. He is so whole and healed is what Anissa said. That's the goal, guys. Like people can have money and a lot of people, unfortunately, um, social media is not going to say this and women aren't confident enough to actually say I'm broken and healed. But a lot of the people that a lot of women admire, a lot of people on social media, a lot of people on television, a lot of those women are actually not whole and they're not healed. They make a lot of money. They have a lot of money, but they show a lot of telltale signs that they're broken in the inside. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather have peace and wholeness than any amount of money. It's just not worth it. I'd rather be able to be comfortable, comfortable in my skin, comfortable with my story and own it than to be fake and phony and have a lot of money. Because those women are the kind that think about things in their head all day, that think about what other people think, that are so consumed about other people's lives, that are talking and hating and not really enjoying the joy that God has uh, promised us. Hey, love, faith, and hope. How are you doing? Anissa, I love it. Thank you so much. Hey, AJ, how are you? Hey, Diggs, how are you doing? Very true. It's, it's a process. It definitely is a process. I agree. Thank you so much, Z. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. My little cousin did my hair. Praise God for little cousins. You can hit them up on a Sunday and say, can I get my hair done? And they make it happen. Thank you, Lord God. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Tarch, how are you? I love you guys on Instagram. Y'all already know. I love everybody. And my sister tuned in from LA. Hi, sister. Hi, sister. She's speaking of my sister. Speaking of my sister. Lord, how did I forget? My sister believes, since she's been using her prayer kit, that every single person in the world should have a prayer kit. It has helped her so much with just her negative thoughts and um, just receiving God's blessings and promises. My sister moved out to L.A. on faith and has really developed an amazing relationship with God. And God has opened up so many doors. And she's really blessed and she's really successful. And she's really young and she's just doing her thing. But my sister did say if anybody is interested in getting a prayer kit that she will put $5 on all of their prayer kits, meaning that you would get $5 off if you bought a prayer kit this week. She don't care how many it is. My sister's a baller. She got a lot of money. Money. But she says whoever buys a prayer kit this week during my birthday week, she will put $5 on their bill and you can use the discount code. I believe it's B-Day 31. B-D-A-Y, capital B-D-A-Y 31. I'll post that later. But my sister said for my birthday, she was going to pay $5 off of everybody's prayer kit that bought one. Okay. All right, guys. So that's face. Thank you so very much, guys, for the um, happy birthday. There are a lot of men in 2019 that are dealing with those same issues. Oh, King Charles, thank you so very much for sharing that. And you know what? And I know that there are a lot of broken men. I do. I do. Men are not my call at this moment. God has not given me something to create, even though any man could read, anybody could read the self-love uh, I mean, anybody can take the self-love course and completely get healed through it completely. I believe that. I believe that. But um, I, I know men need it too. Men need it too. And it's my hope, ladies, that um, as we get ourselves some freedom, that more men will step up and fight for their freedom as well and really just, you know, pursue that. And hey, King Charles, maybe that's your call. I don't know. The Lord had you write that on here for a reason. Maybe you could go ahead and create something and share with all the men. And I would love to hear how that goes. But I do pray for our men. I know that a lot of our men, especially men that look like me, um, um, are my black men, we've all been through a lot, you know, and there's a lot of reasons um, spiritually, um, generationally, um, just this whole country and how it was built. There's just a lot of people. It was built on brokenness. It was built on brokenness and captivity and enslavement and just things that have been passed down in different forms and different ways where we were not taught to love ourselves. We were actually taught to hate ourselves. So um, we're coming up out of that. And King Charles, I do pray for all men. I do. I do. I do. I want all of our men to be so free and so whole and so loved. 
All right, let me see. Woman can teach him. Hey, I love that. I love that so much. Hey, Lashana, how are you? Hey, Nicole, how are you doing? Hey, Constance, how are you doing? Everybody, Asia, Tracy, Ashley. Clarissa said, um, girl, you better preach. Oh, I was preaching. Thank you so much. I, I just, y'all know, y'all know. Marlene and her talking. Hey, Stacey, how are you? Hey, Denise, thank you so much. Hey, um, Lene, how are you? Beautiful. Lene, I'm texting you today, or can you text me? Because I might forget. Um, hey, Clarissa, thank you. Hold on, Clarissa. Said, Denise said, preach it. Yes, um, I was so broken, but God is healing me one, um, one at a time. I love that. Clarissa said, there are some schools and churches that do offer how to live in confidence, yet they are not welcome. Oh, not welcoming and not warming. Now that's really sad because the church should be at least the place. I'm not going to say schools. I can't put anything on schools because schools don't know God. But um, unfortunately, yeah, there, there's not a lot. I teach I teach self-confidence in my homeschool. Um, you're about to be 29. I'm getting frustrated and I might need some advice from you. Please, Clarissa, send me a direct message or a message on Facebook. I would really love to help you. Um, hey, Destiny. Anybody can send me any much. Hey, Ke Keisha. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Charmel. Thank you so very much. I just want to say thank you all again for just all of this, all of this. Um, I'm going to leave y'all with two things. If you want to hang out with me for my birthday tonight, please send me a message. Please send me a message. Just please send me a message and invite your friends. If you could bring one friend, because I'm going to go in and I hope that this is the story that will prepare your lives to freedom. Um, hang out with me for my birthday tonight. And then um, the last one is... If you guys would like to take the self-love crash course, give me seven days before you invest in some mess that's not going to lead to your freedom. Give me seven days. Give me seven days for $27. Just give me seven days. That's it. That's it. That's it. And this, you can keep the course. You can take the course as much as you need it just in case somebody hurts you again. And you're like, oh, I gotta, I'm got i struggling with forgiveness again, Marlia. Let me go ahead and take this course again or whatever. Because um, issues arise. People are going to continue to hurt us. Um, the enemy is going to continue to throw things at us that are going to be you know, set up to destroy us or whatever. But we got to fight for this love because God loves us unconditionally. And we should love ourselves the same way. Love ourselves, love our stories, love our situations and circumstances. All right? So I just want to thank you all so very much for hanging out with me on my 31st birthday guys um i feel loved i feel so i feel i feel so loved i feel so loved by god i feel so loved by myself like i just i'm in a good space and it just feels so good to be here at 31 all right, ladies, um, ladies and men, just thank you so very much. Please send any of your women that are just having a hard time with any of their lives. Just send them my way, y'all. We're getting healed in 2019 so that we can walk whole and in our purpose and shine our lights as bright as they can with no hindrances, all right? So y'all have a blessed one. Peace and blessings to you all. And just thank you again. Oh, I love myself freely. I could be on here without my nails done on my birthday and not even care. And not even care. And not even care. Y'all better get that kind of wholeness. All right. I love y'all so very much. I love you all. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, my handsome husband. I love you so much. I love you. Hey, Audrey. How you doing, girl? <laughs> all right. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace and blessings to you all. And please choose to love yourselves freely from this moment on. And do not look back. Peace and blessings. <laughs>